In the last episode, we talked about how to create a table inside our database. And in this episode, we're going to talk about how to insert data into our table. Now, the way we're going to do this is going to be done the exact same way when we do actually get to the PHP code part later on, where we're going to, you know, for example, create a sign up sheet where people can type something in, sign up on your website and insert data into the database. Now the code we're gonna write in this episode is gonna be the exact same code as you're gonna use when we do actually get to do that using PHP code. So it's very important you guys memorize or at least try to remember the code we're gonna write in this episode because we will actually be using this again. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the table we created in the last episode using SQL code, which is called post. And as you guys can see, we have no data inside this table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my PHP lessons, you know, database, the main part of it, at least. And then I'm going to go up to my SQL tab. In here, we can write another line of SQL code. So let's pretend for a second that we're inside a forum inside a website. And we're going to the create post section on this forum where we can actually type something in. It could be, you know, a subject, uh, the content and the date and that sort of thing. So well, let's actually take a look at the post structure that we did actually create in the last episode. If we do actually open it up in a new tab here and go to structure, you guys can see we need to have an ID, we need to have a subject, a content, and a date. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna go back to our SQL code writing part, and I'm gonna write insert into, and then we need to select the table that we're gonna insert data into. In this case, it's going to be post because we actually created that one in the last episode. So I'm going to write post space parentheses open and close space values space parentheses and we're going to write semicolon at the end here. So now we have the basic setup to actually start inserting data into our table called post. And the first parentheses we have here is actually going to be the part that tells us, or at least tells the database, which part of the table we're going to insert data into. So as you guys can see, like I said, we have an ID, we have subject, content, and date. Now the ID is actually auto incremented, which we actually did in the last episode, meaning that it's automatically going to increase itself by one. So because this one is automatic, we don't actually need to insert data into this one. It does that all by itself. So all we need to worry about when we insert data is the subject, content, and date. So if I go back again, we can actually say, well, the first one is going to be subject, comma, content, comma, and date. So now we can actually go into the values and type in the value we want into our rows when we do, or into the columns called subject, content, and date. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into the values parentheses. I'm going to write single quotes. And inside here, I'm going to write the first piece of data, which is going to be the subject. So let's say we have a post and the subject of this post could be, this is the subject. Okay. So after this one, we're going to write the content. I'm going to write single quotes. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up a website called lipsum.com which has a bunch of fill in text. And this is just random gibberish from based on, I think, Latin. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy some random filling text that I'm going to, you know, paste into our content in here, like so. And afterwards, at the very end here, I'm going to go ahead and say comma. And now I need to write the date. Now, when it comes to the date, we did actually decide that we wanted ours as a date time format as we have down here in the type which means that we're going to have it as, well, let's actually go ahead and write single quotes first. First, we need to have the year, which is going to be in our case, 2015 or at least late 2015 dash. And let's say it is the 14th of November. So I'm going to say 11 dash 14 space. And now we need to write the time because we did actually say date time format. So right now it is 1638 where I'm sitting. Like so. Then we need to write the milliseconds as well, which means that it is going to be, I don't know, zero one. Doesn't really matter in this case. But now that we have this, we can actually go ahead and submit this. So if I were to just copy it, so we have it copied just 
for safety. We did actually talk about a separate document in the last episode where we, you know, have all the stuff saved that we did actually insert into the database. You know, just in case we need to write it again, it would be quite annoying to write all this again. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go down here where it says go. I'm gonna hit it and it says one row inserted. So now I can actually go into my post in here. And as you guys can see, we have an ID as one because it's automatically gonna be inserted. We have a subject, we have the content and we have a date. So now that we have this, we have one piece of data inside our database. And like I said, the code we just used inside our SQL is gonna be the same code we're gonna use when we do actually get to insert data inside the code of a website. So when we write our PHP code, we're actually gonna be referring, or we're actually gonna be writing SQL code inside our PHP code, which then runs the SQL code from PHP into the database and does something with the database depending on the SQL code we wrote inside the PHP code. So if that sounds a bit confusing right now, don't worry about it, we will actually get to do it. And when we actually do it, it might get a little bit more simple than from what I just said at this moment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is basically what we're gonna focus on in this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.